Hello, my name is Caden. This is Castle Tulage, your home defense network. Uh, traveling with your gun. Um, another YouTuber, he's a pretty up-and-coming guy. He's uh, pretty much exploded, and I come across his videos um, a lot because uh, um, I search for keywords, and uh, he does a lot of what I, I do, so I, I listen to him. Um, he had a video about uh, traveling with, with your gun, and, I, and this one aspect I've never really talked about is um, hotel rooms. I do get this question every now and again, what do you do with a handgun in hotel rooms going from state to state? Well, it's fairly simple for me. I There was a discussion on his video about hotel safes. Um, unless absolutely you need to use them, forget about it. Um, let me see if uh, I can, yeah. This right here with the little magnetic strip behind it, that is how you program a majority of uh, safes in hotel rooms. Forget about it. These are generally third party vendors who use these and if it breaks, which these are prone to do, you can be waiting up to a, a few days for the third party vendor to come in and take your, to get your gun out. Um, the other thing is, the other ones are the programmable ones. Forget about it. They're generally very difficult to program, and they're the pain in the backside. Uh, same issues go with that. Um, also, the safe at the front desk. Are you willing to give your gun to a front desk manager who has access to your gun? You know, I don't know if these hotels do background checks on it, but you could probably giving be giving it to somebody that um, shouldn't have a gun. Let's just say someone works the front desk, but they have a, a temporary restraining order on their girlfriend or boyfriend. Um, you know, I'm not exactly sure if you want to be giving them the gun. Now, this is what I use. Um, this is, uh, I have two of these, all right? This one is the key, uh, which you see right here. It's done uh, from a key, and the other one is a combination. I'm not a big fan of the electronic ones, typically be, because you need to spend a few hundred dollars to make sure that it works right. The ones that uh, are 60, 70 bucks, there are temperature issues on it. I'm in a cold temperature state. And then there is also heat issues, where if you have it in your car um, and in the inside of your car is 120 degrees or higher, well, you could have issues with that also. So I shy away from those electronic locks, okay? Uh, one that I have is a a, um, a three-digit combination, and then the, this one is with a key, okay? Now, with that being said is some people also ask me, when I do travel, what guns do I bring? Well, I generally excuse me, I'll generally bring two. Right now what I have in there is my CZ75P01. This is a a subcompact gun chambered in my 9mm and it is a, a 10 round uh, kind of a scenario. The other one right here is a Chiapa Rhino 357 Magnum. It is a six shot the reason why I like it is because it the, the handle is actually it's a very low profile um, do this set. it's a very low profile type of gun it doesn't stick up a lot so if you have to dress a little bit nicer or for one warm days when you have a, a lighter t-shirt on it is going to be better for you um, typically the semi autos they'll be uh, sticking up a little bit uh, higher and um, where is my shield? I thought I brought my shield out. Ah, no, just got it out of the safe. Now I haven't cleaned this um, since my last time I used it. I haven't used it for a little bit, but it's a little bit dirty. I haven't I haven't cleaned it. Um, this is another option that I use. Um, if I, I always generally will have a semi-automatic and a wheel gun. 
See how they fit nice and neat in there. Also, I'll use my Ruger LCR-357 in there. Again, the, what the Ruger LCR-357 does, it's a very low profile uh, gun while you're traveling and uh, it does a very good job. Now people are asking me, well, why do you bring two guns with you? Um, typically what I'll do is when I'm driving from state to state, I'll have one on me and then one in the car. Uh, while I'm in the car, because I like being consistent. I am not going to have uh, a gun appendix carry. I'm too fat for appendix carry anyway. So it basically stays at my 4 o'clock position. And when you're driving, going to your 4 o'clock position is not reasonable. So what I'll do is I'll have one of these. Uh, typically, I'll be driving with this, this one. And we'll have this one... Um, readily available somewhere like the center council or, or or whatever and what I will also say is this when I am driving with these and this is not on me it's still going to be in a holster all right um, sometimes what I'll be doing is this will be on the seat with something on top of it and uh, let's just use a piece of paper like this. Let's just say I'm, I'm driving like this, or all you need to do is get it out of the way, draw it, and go. Now, why do I keep it holstered? Well, I think it's a little bit more responsible in keeping an armed gun um, where something can't get caught in the trigger. Now, let's say if, you, uh, if this was on my seat, and I had to slam on the brakes for whatever, whatever reason, and this could slide off into um, the front seat. The trigger could catch on something, and something could be fired. So for me, it's a safety issue having this thing on. Okay. So that is a little bit of an insight on how I, I travel from state to state. And I also just to say, no matter what, you should have one of these. You should have a car safe that can be attached to your car in some fashion because because of this a simple scenario is I had to drive to Wisconsin then I had to be diverted to Illinois well guess what I am not licensed or permitted to carry a gun concealed in Illinois you people in the Northeast with road closures, weather diversions, what um, construction, you may have to go through a different state, like your Maryland, you know, Delaware, you know, you, you guys, New Jersey, New York, um, Connecticut. It's so easy to go from one state to another that you may need to have this option. And of course, if you fly anywhere, you're going to need to have this anyway, okay? Maybe a little bit of a longer video, but I think it is important. My name is Kane. This is Castle Tools, your home defense network. I hope this helped.